Yes, four hours ago, there was meant to be a ceasefire and it didn't eventuate. We heard that from Hamas officials. But despite that, and actually almost because of that, the fact that they're actually talking about times now is a sign to me that something is progressing. The other thing is last night, uh, Israel's war cabinet met on an emergency basis and it was addressed by uh, two of the officials most responsible for the negotiations, including the head of Israel's security service, intelligence service, the Mossad. We've also heard in the Israeli media today that a uh, Palestinian Hamas leader in Gaza, uh, Yehya Sinwar, is now back in communication with Qatar, the mediators in this deal. He had cut off communication uh, over Israel's entry into Shifa Hospital. That's now resumed. So I think all of these things are signs now. We're hearing from players, the Qatari prime minister, Israel's ambassador to the U.S., not just journalists, we're actually hearing from players that a deal is imminent, so I would say it's edging closer. And what exactly do we know about the details of such a hostage deal? What we know is this, Annette. We uh, understand that it would be an exchange of some 50 women and children, um, Israeli hostages held by Hamas in, in return for Palestinian, Palestinian women and children held in Israeli jails, an unspecified number. I've read more than 100. All of this would also include a five-day ceasefire, which I think is the most important thing for Hamas. There is a discussion about um, Israel insisting that the mothers be released with their children, not just children. Uh, Hamas demanding that Israel stop its air reconnaissance so that they can actually get from one place to another without revealing their locations. But as the Qatari prime minister said, those seem to be details. The principle uh, is now in place. So I think you and I just have to watch to see if and when this deal actually will come through on those terms or others.